Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial for Taylor Swift's Shake It Off in which I will show you how to play that brass synthesizer thing, the keyboard, there's sort of an electric road piano that comes in in the pre-chorus and then in the chorus there's an organ, I will show you how to play that and then the horn section at the end. So let's dive right into it, of course we start with the beat. <laughs> and then you get that yeah um, <clears throat> that is what those horn uh, thing plays um, and actually those are also the bass notes and the root notes of the chord so pay attention here we start on an A and the rhythm is important here Two, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's kind of the rhythmic feel is kind of tricky, but actually, every time you start right after the first beat, one, two, three, four, one, you see, one and um, right in between those for the first and the second beat. One, two, da, 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 da. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Yeah? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so actually it's not very difficult to play with their hands, uh, you know, the notes aren't difficult, but the rhythmic feel is, well, I suggest just listen to it very often, and uh, I just played it for you slowly, try to copy that, and it's just a thing that has to sort of get into your mind. Okay, let's play two rounds, just that brass thing, so I suggest just playing this uh, in octave, so the left and the right hand play exactly the same thing. Then we'll get to... The part where she sings, moving, la la la, la grooving, something like that. Um, the left hand continues to do what it does, but the right hand will start to play chords, voicings. The first chord, as we s see in the bass, because that's playing a root note, is an A minor chord. A minor is like this A, C, E. But this is an A minor 7, so we add a G. And you play this. So on the last chord, the G, you'll uh, start copying the left hand with the right hand again because there is no chord over there. It's just the first chord, an A, and the second, so that's A minor 7, right? A, C, E, and G. The second chord is a C, that's kind of juicy, C6 with a 9. So this is your regular C. You leave out the root because that's played over here. Add a 6, which is an A, and an extra 9. 6, 9. Yeah, so together it sounds like this. So uh, that's the, exactly the same rhythmic thing for the left hand. Yeah, that keeps on doing that same thing with the right hand, just plays those voicings. All right, that's two rounds again, and then we get into the chorus. Now, the chords in the whole song stay the same, but the voicings change. So now that organ sound comes in. We're gonna play that over here. This is what he does. Yeah, so actually uh, the left hand keeps on doing that same thing. You could if you want to make it fuller. start playing octaves but just do the exact same thing so then you will move from here to here to here it's just a c g all the time okay uh, you could also take it down if you want but uh, for now just let's stick to that one note the right hand voicings now change to from that a minor 7 we have an a minor as a first chord inverted and again we get to the second inversion over here and that um, organ just lays them down so 
onto a C chord with a 9. So this is your regular C. Invert it one time, and instead of that root note, you play a 2 or a 9 over here. So that's a G chord, because we land on a G. And of course, there is sort of that up, up beat thing where it takes it from the 7 to the 1. But don't pay too much attention. You know, this, this sounds kind of tricky, but once it resolves into that G, it's just a G chord over there. Okay, uh, one extra thing what you could do is adding more notes to give it some more juice, and also it's done in the song. Because we saw that this was an A minor 7, the first time I, ex I showed you immediately to play an A minor 7, because you distinctly hear that 7 on top. Now, when you uh, want to play the... A chorus I'm just gonna shake yeah that part um, you could also add that seven so then those four notes from the pre-chorus stuff invert them invert them and you're left with E G and A and then you get to And then over here at C, you could also add that 6 that we already saw over here. So it's exactly the same chord, actually, but now... Yeah? So the only thing you have to do then is... Change the C over here to a D. And to keep it with 4 notes, because you see this is 4 notes, this is 4 notes, for the G, then add this D over here to get a four note voicing for just a regular G. I'm just copying the five over here in the bass. All right. Now, um, actually then you can play the entire thing up until the bridge, but there's no instruments over there. So then we get to a part where that uh, horn section plays that stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the chords with our left hand. So, um, play the chords and the uh, melody thing over here to sort of simulate that end part, which is also the, you know, actual end part. I think this part even comes before the breakdown, and then it comes back at the end. So, at the end, you sort of have the decision to either play the chords with the bass notes or play the horns, or when you have the option to record, I suggest to first lay down those harmonies and the bass line and then play this solo thing over it. It's a very good exercise as well if you make a sort of a backing track yourself. It starts off like this. Two, three, four, one. Dun, 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 dun. C chord. Dun, 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 dun. Three, four, one, two, three, dun, dun, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one. So, first the left hand. If, if this is too difficult for you, you can also just play root notes, but then I suggest playing them one octave down and... Three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Works perfectly fine as well. Two, three, four, one. Two, 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 two. See? But uh, if you're up to it, then uh, try to stick to these voicings over here, or actually even better would be to, you know, take those... Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What I'm doing now is play those voicings that I just showed you over here for the chorus part and move them down to play with the left hand. But if that is difficult because there are four notes every time, it's also not what I exemplified just now. What I did there was take just the regular voicing A, C, E for the a minor chord then a C chord yeah so that's C E and G and then on to a G now the melody one two three four one da, 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 da. so it's A B A G to an E where the C chord falls and pay attention it's so, da, um, change chord, yeah, right after you play that. 
Then again that phrase. Da, 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 ba, same thing. The note and then the left hand. Mm, mm, B, D. Then D, E, G, E. Two, three, four, one. Da, 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 da. So A, B, A, G, E. Two, three, four. Same thing. But then end on a D. Two, three, four. Sorry for the three. Yeah, and that's the entire song. So, um, copy, learn experiment and combine is what i suggest to do here because those parts you know obviously played by different instruments and all so uh you know you could expand some by adding more notes if you know your chords and voicings um maybe add octaves in the bass or try to jump or something you know there's a lot a lot of stuff that you can do when creating your own piano part like this from an original recording where there is no actual piano in uh, only synthesizers if you would like to learn more about how to uh, copy different instrument parts to the piano play through chords and patterns instead of uh, reading sheet music just uh, knowing your harmonies and inverting chords and adding cool stuff. Then you get to these parts the exact way that professional musicians do. If you want to learn about that and are really motivated, maybe consider taking my course, Hack the Piano, which is available at my website. And else, subscribe to my newsletter and receive something free like this every week. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, share it, leave a comment. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.